फीचर डिटेक्टर्स वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन ऑफ फीचर डिटेक्टर्स फीचर्स आर नथिंग बट द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड फीचर्स आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टूल इन कंप्यूटर विजन टू डिटेक्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट्स फीचर्स आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैन बी ए लाइन कैन बी ए स्मॉल पॉइंट कैन बी ए ट्राइंगल कैन बी ए स्क्वेर और कैन बी एन एज और एट्सेट्रा कैन बी ए कलर बाय फाइंडिंग द फीचर्स इन अ गिवन इमेज और इन अ गिवन वीडियो इट इज पॉसिबल टू डिटेक्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इट इज पॉसिबल विद हेल्प ऑफ फीचर्स टू क्लासीफाई द ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल विद हेल्प ऑफ फीचर्स टू ट्रैक द ऑब्जेक्ट देर फॉर फीचर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रूल इन द फील्ड ऑफ कंप्यूटर विजन फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट रिकग्निशन फीचर्स आर यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विच आर आइडेंटिफाइड इन अ गिवन इमेज विच इज फर्दर यूज फॉर ए डिटेक्शन और आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज अ फीचर हाउ दे आर आइडेंटिफाइड हाउ टू डिटेक्ट द फीचर्स एंड हाउ दे आर यूजफुल इन कंप्यूटर विजन फॉर डिटेक्शन ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्ट सो लेट्स कंसिडर दिस स्लाइड लेट्स कंसिडर द इमेज ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट वॉट आर द गुड फीचर्स इन अ गिवन इमेज सो इन दिस स्पेसिफिक इमेज द पॉइंट कैन बी ए फीचर सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द पॉइंट्स विच आर यूनिक फॉर एग्जाम्पल द पॉइंट्स विच मे फॉल ऑन दिस एज सो देर वे I can identify many points over here, so which are shown in the square boxes. On the other side, if you see this image on the right side, my object can be detection of a text written, or the object can be a color or some patch. In that case, I can detect my feature as, say, for example, this straight line, which signifies that this is a letter B. or i can consider the feature as the color i need to find out the green color tax or any specific arbitrary object i wanted to consider so my features can be a region like interest operators so any region of interest i need to find out i have to design my feature accordingly so your feature can be your region of any arbitrary shape or your feature can be a point here in this slide my object can be to detect a human face so i consider ages as my important features friends ages finds extensive application in computer vision to detect the objects with diversity and ages have been proved their robustness in identifying the objects on the other side if you consider the image on the right hand side my feature can be a straight line so i need to detect the object which is a building or a particular part of the building so here i can track multiple blue lines multiple green lines i can identify vertical lines i can identify the lines with some angle so this way the object of interest which i wanted to recognize my feature could be a straight line so once i identify the straight lines i mean my object has been detected so here point features can be used to find a sparse set of corresponding locations for example i have one image and in a image there are specific set of points which are present and i don't have any other object of interest which is present in a given image 
so in order to detect the object which can be of any shape i am finding over here the three points of interest which will provide me help in detection of the object a sparse set representation means in a given matrix in a given data there are minimum ones and maximum zeros are present points and patches they have used extensively to perform object instance or category recognition any object at a particular location can be easily identified and it can be classified correctly let us consider an example for example we are interested in finding the location of stars or we need to identify a group of stars in the space at night we will find on the left hand side this image it has the picture of stars and some region is identified over here which are the group of stars and what i do that i need to track this group of stars every night so what i do once i capture the image i locate my stars at point a b c and d and what i do next is that with some reference i calculate the distance of point a point b point c and point d and once i have set of these distances with me i immediately track the specific stars every night whether they have moved from a location to another or any other change or any other pattern i am interested in so while identifying the stars at night i may find the point features are extremely useful for me it also permit matching even in presence of clutter that is occlusion and large scale and orientation changes so inherently the points and the patches patches are nothing but the collection of points or the group of points so even in the presence of some occlusion at a large scale or any orientation inherently the points and patches shows the robust performance so my next question is that how to find these feature points the features can be a line it can be a point it can be a patch or it can be some color so there are two main approaches that one can use the first approach you have to find the features in one image that can be accurately tracked using some technique say local search technique such as correlation or least squares so what do i have suppose i have one image and i have some specific set of points with me so once i identify these specific points when i have some another image then i can immediately track these points very easily as shown in this figure so finding the features in one point can be accurately tracked using some local search technique such as correlation or least square in the second image such unique features one has to identify so finding a set of points or patches would be easy in the second image with some reference so this approach you can use and for that the correlation or least square algorithm can be used second approach is independently you have to detect the features in all the images under consideration and then you match the features based on their local appearance so for example i have image number 1 so i am finding whether i can find my object of interest then i have second image and i am finding my features my object with my 
feature library in the second image in third image i have my object over here so in image number one two and three independently i am applying my algorithm i am applying my feature detector and i am finding the object of interest i do not have any reference between image one and two and two and three and so on so it is per frame estimation of the object approach that is being used so which approach is to select the answer is it, it depends upon the type of application where one first approach is feasible in some cases second approach is feasible if you are confused you have to try out approach one and two and you have to elect a specific approach where you find you are getting good results for example approach number one would be useful when you have low diversity in a object detection there is a more clarity and it is possible to accurately track the features from one image to another image very easily and it is simple to find out the features in the next image while second approach would be useful when there is much diversity or variety in a given object in a given image so the image shows the variety in the object and there would be some difficulty in tracking of a specific feature in the next image into the next image and so on so in that case you have to work independently per frame and you have to apply the features and you have to get your work done so friends in this session we have seen how features are useful in finding the object of interest and they are extremely important because once you identify the features it is very easy to detect the object of interest and there are two approaches which we have seen in first approach you have to track the feature from one image to another image and that would be easy when your objects are simple and there is no diversity second approach you have to apply where every independent frame you have to consider you have to find out the feature and you have to detect the object so this second approach would be useful thank you thank you for the session